us now uh, into our time of worship. I invite you to join with me in our call to worship this day, uh, and then we'll stand to sing a couple of great uplifting songs this morning. The Spirit of God is upon us, and we are a holy people. The joy of God is our strength. All of us, with all our gifts, we are the body of Christ. Whoever you are, you are welcome. That is good news. Bring your gifts to praise God. We are happy to be together. So let us worship God with joy and with spirit this morning. I invite you as you are able to stand uh, and remain standing for our opening prayer. us 
that we cannot help but share it with everyone around us. Though we are all very different people, with many different talents and gifts, we pray that you make us one in your spirit, that we may be your disciples in the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And let us remain standing as we go to a wonderful Jamaican beat. And we think of people in the Caribbean who have been going through the hurricanes there and they are on our minds and on our hearts. Um, so let us sing together as we think of them as well. participate uh, in our scripture reading this morning. This is an interactive reading, and we're going to learn some uh, American Sign Language. I'm not very good at it, but uh, there's one, um, as we read through the scripture, there are going to be highlighted words. The word body will be highlighted, and every time you speak or hear the word body, you're invited to do the sign language for that, which is you take your two hands from your shoulders and move them down to your waist. Very simple. So when, body, when you hear the word body, you do the sign language for that. You'll also hear the word one, and that's really easy. One. <laughs> uh, and then any time there's a body part named in, in the scripture reading, you're invited to point to it. So if you hear the word eye or ear or nose. So very simple. Body, one, and then whatever body. So let us listen to God's word for us today. And you can see that the words are in yellow. And I'm going to do my best to read and participate. <laughs> Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one spirit, so as to form one body. Whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, we were all given one spirit to drink. And so the body is not made up of one part, but of many. Now if the foot should say, because I'm not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason stop being part of the body. 
And if the ear should say, because I'm not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason stop being part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has placed the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. This is God's word for us. Thanks be to God. Amen. And now a time for a little bit of fun. I never know what we're going to get. I introduce to you Scott and Petra, Would You Rather? First of all, I need to do a test. Everyone, can you raise your right arm? Perfect. Perfect. It works. So, you can put it down now. Adrian, are you counting and keeping track of who? Of, no, I, 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 no statistics? No? no? Statistics. Okay. okay. So, gotcha. I thought maybe there would be some statistics. No. So we're going to give you two choices. And you raise your arm when you have the choice that you are keen on. So it's called, would you rather? Would you rather drink, uh, drink a hot drink or a cold drink? Hot drink. Cold drink. Huh? I thought I was doing cold drink. Okay, sorry. You do cold drink. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, okay. Okay, let's try that again. No, no, we'll go to the next one. Okay, we'll go to the next okay. one. Okay. Would you rather eat pizza? Or chocolate? Let's hear pizza. Who would rather have pizza? Mm. And who would rather have chocolate? Oh, yeah. Everybody else. <laughs> How about chocolate pizza? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Note the shirt. Would you rather... Would you rather cheer for the Leafs or the Canadiens? Leafs? Look at... And Canadians, we don't even need to put... Oh, no! <laughs> there was one or two. Okay, out you go. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Oh. What's the other choice? No, I don't. No, oh, there's that, yeah. Adrian only gave us two choices. There you go. Would you rather shop on Amazon or shop at a store? Amazon? Store? Store? Oh, yeah. we know where that's going. <laughs> Would you rather discuss a problem as a group or think about it on your own? Group? I like group. On your own? Ooh, about 50 50. Yeah. Would you rather play a sport? Or play a board game? Sport? Board game? I oh. like both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather go out to a party? Or stay in and watch TV? Party? Ooh. Watch TV? Oh, I mm. think party one on that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, kids. <laughs> okay, here's a, here's a really good one. Pay attention. <laughs> Would you either rather eat food with your feet or walk on your hands? Who would like to eat food with their feet? Ooh. Who would like to walk on their hands? Ooh, there's a lot of neither. Yep, there is. <laughs> Would you rather have a beach day? Or a snow day? Mm. Beach. Mm. Snow? Ooh. Ooh. That's like 50-50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you rather drive a domestic car? Or a foreign car? Domestic? Mm. Foreign? Mm. Yeah. Me? Neither? <laughs> 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 Would you rather know what everyone else is thinking? Or have everyone else know what you are thinking? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you, who uh, would, I can't even talk. 
Who goes for what everyone else is thinking? Mm. And who, it. Go ahead. Who would want to know what you're thinking? Oh, and it's kind of like. Who would like to have neither? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. Okay. Would you rather come to a church that was completely different each week? Or come to a church that's exactly the same each week? Mm, uh, uh, Boring. Uh. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Different? Or the same each week? I like oh, sometimes. There's a couple both. that like I like the same. sometimes. That's true. Now, when we're talking about the same, you have to sing the same songs and everything every no, week. No, 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 we'll no. We'll start. That. We'll start that. Uh, we'll start that the next service in Burford. <laughs> shush. 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 Okay. Would you rather live life in a bouncy castle? Or in a tree house? <laughs> bouncy castle. I like that idea. I like bouncy castle. Or would you like to live your life in a tree house? Oh. Ooh, wow. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> would you rather hug people in church? Or wave politely from a distance? <laughs> Hugs. Ooh, wave. <laughs> yeah, okay. What's next? Would you rather go to a silent retreat or a noisy music festival? Retreat. Noise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, here's the one I came up with. Oh, no. You say it then. Would you rather listen to a two hour sermon? Or sing the same song for two hours. Oh, that's bad. Oh, two-hour sermon. Yeah. Sing the same song for two hours? Nah. Oh. Okay, well, there's another one we won't do. <laughs> okay, would you rather give a talk to 100 people? Or prepare food for 100 people? Talking. I can do that. Ooh. All right, you're signed up. You got the name? Food. <laughs> prepare That's food? Open. I'd prefer yeah. food. Would you rather never eat chips again? Or, or never eat ice cream again? You made that one up. I know. Oh, who, yes. would, who would rather never eat chips? Who would rather never eat ice cream? Oh, who would rather not answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. Last one. Would you rather have an electric lawnmower or a gas-powered lawnmower? Mm -hmm. Electric? Gas-powered. <laughs> well, it's obvious that you guys are all very different, and I'm different too. And that's okay, because it makes the community richer. If we were all the same, life would be awfully boring. This is the sign for boring, by the way. It looks like you're picking your nose. That's actually the ASL sign for boring. Anyway, so now you've learned that today too.
Am I on? Yes, you are. Okay. Um, it's snack time. Who would like to have a snack? Oh, there's lots that want to have a snack. Well, you know what? I'm going to pick on this guy. Do you want a snack? Oh. Good. Okay. And um, what's your name? Riley. You? Oh, yes, that's right, Riley. Okay, Riley. You know what? This is what I have for our snack. Look at this. If I open up this box, I'm going to find this chocolate cake, right? You don't think so? Let me see. Boy, you maybe know more than I do. Oh, here I have something in here. This is sugar. Would you like a taste of sugar? <laughs> Would you? Well, yes, please. Okay, you can hold that. I have something else. Do you think the sugar tastes good all by itself? Do you think it makes a good snack? Does it make a good snack? Pretty good. <laughs> would, it, would it fill you up? No. You know what? I'm kind of disappointed that when I opened up my box, I didn't have that cake there, aren't you? Okay. So there's, what do you think about that? Do you think that would be good? Well, it's not actually icing. It's probably the flour for the cake. I thought that when I bought this, no? Okay, we're, we're just going to put that there. I really thought that when I bought this box, I could find a cake inside here. No? And I can't. What else am I going to, what else? What else do you think might be in here? Oh, some oil? Do you like, have you ever tasted oil? Do you think it would be a good drink? No. No? Okay. All right, we're going to, yes, good answer. How about this for a drink? This is vanilla. Not a good drink. Okay, we're going to put that there too. Oh, what else have I got? Oh, look at this. How about, how about salt? No. No? Okay, you know what? I actually looked at the back here and it told me that I had to mix all those together. Have you ever done that? Oh, your mom has. Maybe, maybe um, one day you'll be able to do that, because guess what I did? I put all, all those things together. And do you want to see what I got? I got a snack for myself in case out there there's nothing that I like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you know what? I think I'm going to let you open this. Do you know how to open this? We're going to, down here, you open that up and see what we have in here for my snack. Oh, do you want to bring that out and show everybody what we have? Show everybody what we have. <laughs> so, if we put all those things together, this is what we get. We get something really good, eh? So, because this alone is not good, but all mixed together, it's really good. Okay, so we're talking, we're talking today about a barbecue. Do you want to come and sit down? And, you can have that. You can take that. That's yours. And if you want to share it, you can. That's your choice. Okay? Um, we're all different, and that's what we've just discovered with everybody choosing what they could do. Okay, so God has put us all together in one community. And we all do different things. So when I'm doing a funeral lunch, I call on my friends. And they all have good ideas. And they all help me. Because I could not do it by myself. And so I'm thankful for all those that help me. And it's the same with everything we do. God has made us all different. And we are to work together. And we do that. And we are the best. Thank you. And so we're going to invite everyone to stand as we sing together, I'm going to live so God can use me. And as we sing this, I want you to think about the gifts that you bring into community and the ways in which God has called you to serve. Let us sing, I'm going to live so God can use me. We're going to do this a cappella. You want me to start? You start. I'm going to live so God can use me.
potato head to show that our differences are actually and can be a very good thing. Paul says, can you imagine one big eye on its own? What would use would that be? Or one giant ear? It's a bit ridiculous, but in a way that is what we do if we think that everyone should be exactly the same as us. Just because I'm like an eye or like an ear doesn't mean I don't need the other parts of the body to make a whole. He also writes this. Now, if the foot should say, because I'm not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would not, for that reason, stop being part of the body. Sometimes people do that. They think because they are different from other people, they can't belong in the church. And maybe perhaps you have thought that sometimes of yourself. Maybe you like different things to other people in the church, or you think differently about something, or you have different skills and talents, but Paul says if you're a foot, don't try to be a hand, because the body needs both of you. One way this can work out is in how we worship together. If something happens in the church which you're not really into, that's okay, but maybe it's helping someone else. And when we played Would You Rather earlier, we found out that some people like different things than other people. Some people like to think things through themselves first. Others need to discuss it in a group. Some, things like, some people like quiet time. Others like to be in a noisy party. Some like to stand up in front and do talks. And others would rather be behind the scenes serving in different ways. And some people are fans of one team or another. All of these ways of being together as church in worship, in work, in fellowship, in life are okay. In fact, we need them all. And if somebody else worships or serves God differently to you, then maybe perhaps there's something that you can learn from them. We all need people who are different to you and need you. And all the different gifts and characters are essential part of our churches, placed here by God to bring glory, to bring joy, to bring justice to our world. Paul writes, in fact, God has placed the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. And so... We should honor one another with respect and with dignity. So I invite you now to invite, I invite you to look around. Perhaps it's someone you may not know too well, someone you may know well, and to say to them, I'm grateful God has put you here. I invite you to do that. I'm grateful God has put you here.
I know in the church that's a dangerous thing to do because we never can get back into worship, but we're going to get back by singing together. Let us sing. We are pilgrims on a journey together. I am grateful to all of you that God has put you here. to God this morning, I invite us to join together in prayer. Prayer. Let us pray. For all you have given and for all that we have received, O oh God, we give you thanks. We bring before you our gifts of substance and the gifts of our very lives. We bring our passion and our joy and our surprise. We bring our visions and we bring our dreams. May they refresh and enliven our church and our communities as the wind of your spirit did long ago. And so we pray your blessing upon us, your body in the world, as we bring our gifts this morning to be gifts of heal healing and wholeness, gifts of justice and joy. Bless them as we bring them this morning, O God, in your name. Amen. And our offering will now be received. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let us gather our hearts together in our prayer. Let us pray. Gift giver, you call us together with our different gifts, our different ideas, and our different tastes. You call us together to share what makes us special, to build each other up, and to serve each other in love. You call us together knowing that we need all parts of the body if we are to be whole. You call us together to sing and to pray and to listen and to speak, to be refreshed so that we can go out and serve. And so for the gift of your spirit in our lives and our church, for the gifts you give to each of us to create your beloved community here on earth, we give you thanks. For all of creation, that it may be honored and preserved and protected, we give you thanks. And for the leaders of our nation and all nations of the world, that they might be guided with wisdom and understanding and committed to act in ways that bring your presence and your peace, we pray, come, Holy Spirit, come. For all those places where there are wars and rumors of wars, for those places where hunger gnaws, for those places ruled by oppression and injustice, for those places where hatred overcomes love, for those places ravaged by hurricane and storm. Come, Spirit, come. Where dreams have died and visions are squelched, renew their spirits with your passionate fire. For all who are ill, whether in body, mind, or spirit, for all who mourn, whether for the loss of loved ones, the loss of a job, or even the loss of faith, we pray that you fill them with your spirit of compassion and strength and healing, that they may know they are never alone. Spirit, make us an empowered people who reach out in love and caring. And for all that you have given and yet will give, we give you thanks as we lift our prayers to you in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not. And our final hymn for this morning is One More Step Along the World I Go. Let us stand as we sing together.
My friends, you are the body of Christ. May you have the heart of Christ, tender for mercy. May you have the eyes of Christ to see the world in need. And may you have the feet of Christ to bring good news. Go in peace, and may God be with you all. And this gets a little faster and faster and faster as we sing each verse. Here we go. Anytime. You shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills will break forth before you. There'll be shouts of joy and all the trees of the field will clap, will clap their hands. And all the trees of the fields will clap their hands. The trees of the field will clap their hands. The trees of the fields will clap their hands. Will you go out with joy? You shall go out with joy.